Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here, day two, what? Day two y'all of Get Ready With Me, Valentine's Slay Edition, y'all. I'm giving y'all full face. Get ready with me and of course I wanna show you guys my outfit and what I'm gonna pair with my um look. And supposedly my outfit is supposed to be V-Day uh, relatable, but I'm gonna do my best because I told y'all <laughs> I can't fit anything and I order a bunch of stuff and they actually came in the mail, I'm um, sorry, came in the mail yesterday after doing yesterday's video. And I was excited because I ordered like a lot of cute like Valentine's Day stuff and y'all, I think I ordered like a good I ordered extra just in case I ordered like 18 pieces of like just clothing some more just top and bottom some more like dresses like 18 pieces y'all you hear me 18 pieces out of the 18 I think I'm only gonna be keeping five and that's a big fat maybe so I put in another order today and I'm being very wishful thinking I'm, I'm hoping that it comes in time for me to um to finish this because i don't know what i want to wear like i was here for it i was excited and then i thought like reality hit me i was like girl you can't fit anything <laughs> and i was like i'm not over exaggerating you guys like i i went in my closet and i tried to put stuff on and i am too big at the moment so i still got a couple of more pounds to lose before i can actually fit my clothes that i was able to fit before i had my child okay <laughs> And then once that, you know, go about, then I'll be able to lose more weight and then I'll be back snap cracking Papa Jocks. What the hell am I saying? I don't know. But anywho, hello. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm venting. We don't start the video like this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But hey, for those who are watching for the first time, hello. My name is Nisha. And for those who have already been here, what it do, baby boo? Y'all already know about my venting, okay? So I apologize for starting the video off like that, but... Oh okay day two um so i put two outfits aside and they're from the maybe pals um i'm gonna see if i can finesse them and make it work mix and match because i don't know in my head i was like yeah this top can go up this bottom i was like i don't know i don't know if the models was tricking me and made me think like these outfits are gonna go together because when i got the pieces together here in my house they didn't go <laughs> The textures wasn't mixing, the colors wasn't mixing, the belly wasn't flowing with some of the stuff. So um, I'm gonna see if I can find my girdle and finesse this and we're gonna snatch and put this belly into this outfit. Okay, but anywho, y'all know this is also one week, one palette for um, the next five days. So this is day two of me using the same palette. We are combining the one week, one palette on top of the 14 days of slay. Well, is that what, is that the saying? Two birds and one stone? I think I said something else. Anywho, <laughs> y'all, look at my skin. First of all, she doing real good, okay? I've been really trying to eat right, drink water and stuff like that, so I'm very proud. I have wasted five minutes of just rambling my mouth. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so this is day two of using Jackie. I know. This is the Jackiana and ABH collaboration palette. A lot of y'all, yeah, I was blown. My wig was blown off um, yesterday, so I wore my makeup look, and I was talking to one of my coworkers. She's still a little bit younger than me, of course. Um, but anywho, we we're talking about like makeup and everything, and y'all, she didn't know Jackiana had a palette. I was like, yeah, she had a palette with um, ABH. She was like, since when? I was like, like two years ago. I was like, where have you been? Where have you been? She was like, I didn't know anything about this. I'm like, wow, there's people really out there who did not know about this palette. I ain't trying to be messy, but look, I go to show you how ABH did not give this palette its recognition that it needed. Like this was like a classic palette. Like this should be under the top five, number one actually, but top five favorite palettes that they've ever came out with. But anywho, this is no longer on the ABH website for the last time I checked, but I did find it on a few other websites and it's around the same price point. So I will link those down at the bottom if you guys want to get your hands on her, okay? Cause she was everything and she's still everything, giving me everything two, three years later. But anywho, here we go. Here's the color story of her, okay? And today I am going for a, I think a pink look pink and purple look because that's what the outfits that I picked out I think it's going to give so I already have my base and everything on I have my brow on um powder on so we're just going to jump right into this because there's so many steps that we're going to be doing for today's video so I think I'm pretty much I'm going to be working for working with these shades right here right here these three shades 
So I'm going to start off with this one, then this one, and then that one. So I'm just going to go in order. So I'm going to start off with Supreme. I don't think I ever use Supreme, ever. So I'm just pretty much popping her in the inner part. I kind of want her more on my lid. She's a really pretty pink. I didn't think it was going to show up on me. She's a really pretty pink. And I am going up my inner part of my crease with this. Now oh, everything is falling down on my desk, y'all. Anyway, I'm just gonna continue doing that. Do y'all have any plans for Valentine's Day? Whether it's with your kids or your significant other or just solo dolo. Like what is y'all plan? What's y'all agenda? Let me know, I'm nosy. Me personally, what is it? Valentine's is falling on a Tuesday this year, so I don't think I will be doing anything. He works on Tuesdays, and we might celebrate it early, late. I don't know. I feel like every day should be Valentine's Day in a sense when you're in a relationship. And then your kids, you should be showing your kids love every single day. Like, don't wait for this day, but if you want to make your family feel extra special, then do a little shum shum for them. Rather than just Baking extra sweets, cooking a romantic dinner. Yes, for the kids too. Put on that mommy love, okay? Do something, I don't know. I'm gonna do something, so don't trip, don't worry about it. All right, I am now going to pretty much do the same thing for the purple. Yes. I know I said I wanted to try um, that middle one, but I wanna see something real quick. I'm gonna take a little bit of Big Wig. I'm gonna pop it towards the outer. So I'm doing like the same method as I did with that pink. Okay, I kind of want to do a little shimmer. I was gonna make this an all matte look, but I kind of left this blank for a reason. Cause I did was I was gonna go in with pinker, but I was like, um wasn't really in the mood for all matte looks, so I'm gonna go ahead with that shimmery purple. So I, I'm gonna use my finger because I've learned that these metallic shades they look a little bit more creamier and beautiful when they're um, applied with the finger. I don't know why. That's pretty, yes. Oh, that is so pretty oh my goodness all right so this is what the eyes are giving they're giving harsh lines right now because i need to blend so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of the pink and purples and i'm going to just make sure that these pretty much go, like combine with each other so i'm going to add some purple some purple and then i'm going to go in with that supreme the pink All right, now what I'm going to do to help blend out this harsh line, because baby is harsh, harsh. <laughs> I am going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with ginger. Let's go with ginger. And then we're going to pop that towards the outer. And I'm just going to slowly take my time. Being that this is such a light brown, I am going to take my time with this to make sure that these colors are blended. And the reason why I didn't go with any other shades because I felt like it wasn't going to go. So, yeah, because I didn't want it to over overtake what was going on already. Just gonna help blend out the harsh lines. Look how that look over the purple already. Tell them blending is fundamental. And definitely need it with every look. This is like really pretty. I'm in love with this. I think I'm gonna do uh, some glitter glue and put some more of that shimmery purple on the lid so it can really like sparkle. And then I also thought about putting a little bit of what I was trust issue, I think, or either a Zam make it a little bit more sparkly we'll see y'all know when i do multiple uploads like 14 days or 31 days y'all know i try to switch up 
and take advantage of stuff that I usually don't use. So today I'm going to be using the Anastasia. This is the Luminous Foundation. I usually don't use her that often because she does oxidize on your girl. But the formula is really, really pretty though. So I'm going to be using her for foundation today. So let's start off by moisturizing the face. So I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. This is going to be my e.l.f. moisturizer. And I'm going to pop that all over the face. And then for the primer, I'm going to go in with the Cover Fix Blurring Primer. Oh my gosh, y'all. So y'all know my heart is not here, okay? What did I tell y'all yesterday? I was waiting for them. Y'all, literally, I just got an Amazon notification that my package had been delivered. It's the rest of my background. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother getting the door because it's just going to have to wait. I'm so, like, annoyed. I'm like, you should have been here, like, a few hours. You're a little late. Gosh. Anywho, let's focus, okay? Yeah, this gives you a nice little glow. Oh, I feel so good on the skin. I feel like my skin was like thirsty. Oh. All right, because she oxidized, I am going to be going in with my LA Girl Color Correctors. I'm going to be going in with my ColourPop um, Filter Concealer. I haven't used it in a while. I'm going to take a little bit of my white. Because I do want to. I usually don't do it like this. But this, this concealer is way too light for you, girl. I don't really like it. I'm oh, sorry, not too light, too dark. For my liking. I like for my concealers to have a little bit of like a yellow undertone. So hopefully by mixing with this white I can lift it just a little bit. And then I want to contour with my Fenty. I prefer liquid over stick. I think I got asked to add a couple of videos back. I just don't remember what video I've seen it all, but I remember I got asked that. <laughs> I prefer the liquid. Like, y'all don't need this expensive stick. Like, I feel like it's a little, I guess, against like my foundation and everything. It's a little bit too oily for me. I'm just gonna set my face really quick. Speaking of oily, but I think it's just, I mean, it's cool. It gets the blending, it gives me my contour, but. Um, I don't know, I just think my e.l.f. or just any like liquid darker shade of concealer works better than the stick. But because I bought her, <laughs> I use her. Especially that where people be coming to me like, oh, what do you prefer, a stick or? I'm like, um, depends on your preference. But for what these sticks are be trying to be sold for for these brands, get y'all a, um, a liquid. I see NYX has a new one too that I want to try. I was it almost urged me to buy it. It's a little bit cheaper than uh, most sticks that I've seen, especially for you know the drug side. But I was like, hmm, I'm curious. I might end up getting her though. If y'all tried it, let me know. If y'all know what I'm talking about. See, that's the only thing about this concealer. I feel like it creased just a little. It did. So I want to reply one more coating of it because. I don't know, I feel like it's creasing. It's such a sheer coverage. Because I think I ordered this online and that was the reason why I didn't go and return it. Because I ordered it from ColourPop. So the shade was definitely off. And then when I thought about getting like another one, I was like, eh. I was like, I don't really like the formula of it. So I just stuck with her and just worked with it. Okay, I feel like that did a little bit better. Honestly, I feel like it's still creasing. So... Uh, let me just go ahead and um, 
Yeah, she's still trying to crease. Oh my gosh, it's gonna hurt me. It's time for some airbrush effects. Y'all know my powders. Beauty Baker from underneath the eyes and then Black Radiance. I feel like I'm like pressing like really hard for this powder to sit in this concealer so it won't crease up on me. So that's on for now. And then to give myself that airbrush effect, I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance. All right, I wanna take some of this powder off. Just like the leftover Dusty does. Alright, today I'm going to contour with the Beauty Breaker Free. And of course, to complement my eyes, I'm going to go in with the same shade for like a blush, Beauty Bakery again. And I'm just going to pop her on the cheeks. And y'all don't sleep on this highlighter palette. Like I got so many compliments from yesterday highlight and I'm like, yes, it's that beauty bakery. Okay, so we're gonna go, what did I go in for yesterday? What did I use yesterday? I don't know. I don't remember what I used yesterday. I think I used this gold yesterday. So we're gonna go for our heart, the pink one. Cause we got pink going on. Let's, let's do pink. Yeah, it's a pink highlighter. Motivation, motivation, okay, let me stop. Oh, look at this. I'm just my little goes a long way. Like I'm barely have any on my brush. Motivation, motivation. All right, moving on to the lips. All right, so I got a couple of couple of lip options yesterday. Like I was prepared last night after cleaning up my room because I've been teaching myself to clean up my room from every session, so that way I don't have a big mess. So I had everything laid out on my desk today on what I was gonna use, and then for lips options, it's always like the last. Like ah, oh, it's like really hard for me. That's like that's like me picking out a nail polish for my nails. Like I'm I'm there forever. So I was like, let me just throw a couple of shades on my desk, and hopefully that will help me out. No. Because now I'm over here looking at it, I'm like, girl, which one? Which one? Which one? <sighs> so I have... So of course I got my nudes. Okay, I feel like nudes is definitely going to be good for this look. Mm -hmm. And then I got this pink. I want to do this pink. I just don't know with what look. Is that too much pink? I don't know. We'll see. And then I got this beautiful chocolate brown. This is a new one. I'm addicted to the heat. I told y'all I, I can't shake them. And then I got a purple gloss. This gloss, y'all, is beautiful. Y'all be surprised. You know what? Let's do her. I'm gonna throw y'all for a loop de loop. She looks very like intense, but watch this. I'm gonna go in with my typical brown pencil. I'm gonna fill her in more than what I would usually fill her in. Okay. And now we're gonna add the dig gloss. You don't need no lipstick, nothing. You know what, this is not even the correct lipstick. My bad, hold on. I'm gonna grab the correct one. See, they look very similar. They're the same shade, right? So it's the color that threw me off. I wasn't even paying attention to the actual brand until I opened this. I was like, wait, this is an actual purple lipstick. You know what? I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Now do me a little. This was not even part of the plan. Alright, now for this beautiful gloss. Mm. 
and this is by the crown case and this one is called Cabaroon I think so you pronounce it just wait till I put on top this is not it either oh my gosh I'm so confused I'm sorry hold on powder oh my gosh I'm such a, a dweeb okay is this by the crown case I think it is the, the label went off but it's called soft, soft twerk okay this is the correct one wait for it okay <laughs> Oh my god. All right, so this completes the makeup look. Woo! Y'all, I had a struggle. So I had to step out the house. Like this is like literally, I'm not even gonna kid you guys. This is like two hours later. I had left. I had to take care of some business. I had to cook dinner really quick and then I had to come back because I was about to say quit everything and let me tell you I don't know if, it's, if this is for everyone but especially me I don't care how my makeup look well let me take it back I my makeup could look bomb.com the end but if the hair is not going with the makeup it throws the whole makeup look off and I don't know what it is like you know how India Irene made that song I am not my hair yeah okay that's not me I am my hair my hair is not done, my hair is not combed, if it wigs not looking good, if it's not slaying correctly, it will ruin the whole entire look. <laughs> and I say this because I couldn't, I was about to, I was like, is it the eye makeup? No, it wasn't the eye makeup, because the moment I took the wig, I was like, oh, it's the wig, y'all. I'm learning on how to lay these wigs down, okay? I'm trying to upgrade from the 2020, from the 2016-ish <laughs> of just, plopping on wigs on my head and having that big old bumpy look right here so I am trying to catch up with these youtubers with these slaying the hairs and the wax and then the hairspray and then the, I'm trying okay I feel like I did decent today she she's giving scout I just <laughs> the lace it just throws me off every single time but I was trying to do the baby hairs right here in the front they were not working <laughs> so I figured it out and cut them and now I like the hair unit so I kept the side baby hairs we got those those are cute that's okay that looks more natural but the one I was trying to finesse was not <laughs> finessing for me <laughs> whatsoever but anywho yes okay this is much better all right so let's talk about the outfit before I show y'all <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm not even going anywhere, okay? I, I'm not. Like, I already went somewhere and this was not what I was wearing because I don't know if I'm going to keep her to be 100 because I, I feel like I am now. I just don't know where I would wear it. What would I wear this to? What would I, I feel like I need to name every date look. What would I wear this? I definitely would wear this to go out to eat. I would wear this to go to the movies. Then again, my legs might be a little cold. But this is definitely date. I don't care if it's date with your friends, date with your significant other, or date by yourself. Treat yourself, boo. Don't let this Valentine thing feel like you gotta have a significant partner. If you got kids, go on a mommy and daughter date, mommy and son date, whatever. Go on a date with your children. If you ain't got kids, you ain't got a significant other, then go ahead and treat yourself, boo. Look good for yourself, okay? <laughs> Simple as that, because if I didn't have neither of those things that I mentioned, Trust me, Nisha will be <laughs> treating and celebrating herself. I feel like I do that anyway, but anywho. Yes, yeah, so this is where I'll put this. This is very, it's not a really um, like over the top dressy one, but I can definitely dress her up if I have more things to pair with her. Like if you, let me, let me paint the picture for y'all. So for this dress, yes, it's giving very cheesy Valentine. Hey, yes, I got Valentine thrown on my chest, okay? But to make this even more suitable, I would definitely pair her with a black like trench coat, maybe with some nice heels. I don't do heels, so heels is definitely a no for me. I am a flat feet type of girl, so me and heels do not get along. Like I, I retired a long time, long, long, long time. So you would never catch me in heels, okay? But <laughs> let me paint the picture again. Trench coat, nice little heels. Like this would be like really cute. Like you can definitely make her sexy with this big old valentine heart on the chest i'm just gonna say that but the material of this is she is hugging very tight around my stomach so at a certain angle she does give me prego vibes but other than that she really is a cute dress so i think i might keep her because she's cute i just don't see myself wearing this any other time of the year except for valentine's day because 
it's literally a big old heart on the chest but then again i'm the type of girl i'll throw something on and just don't care what the season of the outfit is so i don't know but y'all let me know how y'all feel about today's look i love the purse i just wish i would have had a black trench coat to like to really put the picture together on how i would like to pair this outfit and of course a nice little sexy lace heels too go oh, it's the lace heels honey yes oh <laughs> i had a moment there i had to think i was like yes that sounds really cute yes but to close off the makeup because i didn't show you guys the remaining part i just put that dark brown not that dark brown sorry the dark purple on my bottom lash line with some black pencil in the waterline and this lip combo i told y'all once this gloss is on you cannot tell she's purple like if i didn't put that purple lipstick on at all it would have just looked like a, a sh very very sheer purple gloss with like a, i mean like very sheer but i wanted the purple to put a little bit like of color on my lips but it looks like a, a regular like new combo okay sis <laughs> okay i'm feeling myself okay i ain't going nowhere but sitting on the couch but it's okay i'm gonna make this work <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed today's get ready with me video definitely let me know down in the comment section what did you guys like most about today the outfit the hair the makeup all of it let me know okay and y'all know wig details will be up some sometime this month just make sure your post notification bell is clicked because the girls is dropping videos this month yesterday i dropped two videos how many i'm gonna drop today i don't know how many i'm gonna drop tomorrow i don't know just make sure your post notification bell is clicked okay Boop. <laughs> anywho i'm gonna let you guys go you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see you guys tomorrow with my next valentine's slate look <laughs>